bet you wondered what kind of video this is going to be. Maybe a mountain house review? <laughs> no, it is not. How you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, my. Uh, a little while back, uh, Smell and Roses did a video called uh, Stories of When I Almost Died. And at the end of the video, he did a open-end tag. And I thought, I've got two of them. One, you're not going to believe... I wouldn't even believe it unless I was actually there. And the second one happened uh, pretty recently, about three, four weeks back on a Trekking Tuesday. It's just freaking hilarious. You guys are going to love this. So let's get, hang on one second here. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> the first one, I want to say it was uh, three and a half years ago. It was at one of the uh, spring meetups. And there was three of us out there. Uh, <laughs> we were searching for a cave. And I was going off GPS coordinates and some stuff I found on Google. I was kind of looking around. So we came to a spot where we think the cave was. But you know how GPS is. It's never right on the spot. We all kind of went off in our separate directions. And we are going to meet back at a central location. Well, I took off. And, of course, cave. This is a bunch of rock faces. There's a rock face. I want to say it must have been no more than 20 foot high. <laughs> Tree just fell over. I think. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, it's not a Sasquatch. I don't think. <laughs> nope, we're good. angry bird it was about 20 foot up it was a 94 degree angle and of course I had my full gear on which included really <laughs> I had uh, my I was full geared out which I had the Alice pack on so I started climbing up and I seen some footholds and I started climbing up the side of this cliff wasn't thinking nothing about it almost to the top my hand slipped and of course, I've always been taught, or I've always do this, when you start to fall off the side of anything, you push yourself away, especially since it's a cliff. <laughs> I pushed myself so hard, and ended up doing a backflip and a half, and then turtling with my uh, Alice pack on. Freaking funniest thing that ever happened to me. Of course, I didn't think about it until later. I thought, well, man, I could have died and fell in the wrong way. Anyway, I went back to talk to the guys and tell them what would happen. Of course, I'm laughing about it. Did not believe me. <laughs> and, you know, who are you going to believe? Would you really believe somebody if they told you they did a backflip and a half and landed on their, uh, on their pack and were fine? Probably not. This uh, second one, uh, I was out, uh, as you know, I hike along the Missouri River. There's a lot of bluffs here, and the soil content is uh, sand, kind of a little silt, and a lot of clay. And it's really great when it's dry. When it's wet, not so much. You can't get a foothold. And I was exploring a valley where I was going to set up a day camp, kind of like what I got set up here. I got, <laughs> I was going up a cliff. It was about 50 foot, uh, I want to say probably a 60 degree angle and I've seen some footholds and I'm kind of climbing up of it. Now remember the soil is clay and it's been raining off and on here here in the Midwest. I hit one footing and I felt myself start to slide. And I was like, uh oh, here we go. I went to reach up and grab a tree which apparently is not connected to the ground and I lost it. Slid down the hill on my side <laughs> and Luckily, I didn't hit no rocks or tree roots. I actually broke the uh, coal or the uh, cold steel bushman on the knife sheath. I broke the belt loop off the darn thing, <laughs> and it landed on the ground. And that's another one of them situations where you know if I would have hit a rock or a tree root, it would have been over with. So there's two stories. One that's funny. Well, <laughs> actually, they were both pretty freaking funny to me, to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, but I've got a lot more, but those are the two that kind of stick out in my head. And, and this was an open-ended tag, so uh, I know uh, the MI Woodsman, he did one, i seen it, so check his out. And 
I know definitely check out Smell and Roses tag. He had a little incident on the riverbank. Well, when you see it, you'll understand. And of course, this is open, so if you'd like to join in on the tag, no big deal. You can either do a video or kind of load it in down below and uh, tell your story. And do we got boiling water yet? I'm not sure. Hang on. Nope, not yet. Okay, that's good. And uh, <laughs> just, just uh, tell me your story. All right. Thanks for the open-ended tag there, smelling roses. And guess what, brother? I'm getting ready to try. He did a little uh, Mountain House meal review on this a while back. And this is a uh, brand new. It's a turkey a dinner casserole. And they just came out with it, so I want to give it a whirl tonight today and see what it tastes like. As usual, comments are always welcome. Yes, it takes me a while to get to them. I do apologize. Work is kicking my butt. And like always, friends, thanks for watching. It would appear we have a floater in my tea. Mm. Yeah, that's good. It <laughs> oh no! Out of control! <laughs>